cultures and how they thrive in nature. Are you ready? Yeah. Wonderful. To kick things off, I'd love to hear from you. So on the count of three, if you could say out loud for me where you are visiting from today, all right? Ready? One, two, What's three. Oh my goodness. Lots of places. Um, <laughs> I heard a little Wisconsin. I heard lots of Chicago. Uh, I'm originally from Ohio. Any Ohioans out there? And now, I would like to introduce you to some of our Pacific white-sided dolphins, as we learn a little bit more about where they're from. So, in the middle, we have Kukdala and Sagu. Oh, little blue waves for you, fantastic. And over on your right, we have Catrell. Beautiful. So, the water that these dolphins are swimming in is cold. Pacific white-sided dolphins are found in the chilly waters of the North Pacific, in the areas you can see highlighted on the screen. Like us, dolphins are mammals, but whereas humans are especially adapted for our life on the land, dolphins are especially adapted for their life in the water. So let's take a look at one of our biggest differences. Dolphins have flippers. You can see a close-up of these pectoral flippers there on the screen. Dolphins use these to steer as they swim through the water. And there's a really distinct series of bones inside them. And this single detail reveals a lot about the animal's distant past. If you could raise an arm and hand up in the air for me for a moment. On the screen, you see an x-ray of a human arm and hand. Go ahead and see if you can feel the bones that are pictured in your wrist and palm. So scientists estimate that millions of years ago, the ancestors of whales and dolphins actually lived on the land around the time of the dinosaur's extinction. Then at some point, those ancestors of whales and dolphins left the land to dwell in the water. Now let's check out those tails. Dolphin tails are called flukes. They contain no muscles or bones at all. But watch the way the dolphins move them up and down the paddle through the water. Nice little synchronized demonstration for you. And that fin on the back, it's called a dorsal fin, and it helps the animals stay upright while they're swimming. And the large muscular region in the tail section that's connected to the flukes, that's called the pedoncle. And it provides the power they need for forward movements through the water. It's a really big muscle, and it helps the tail walks like that. Excellent tail walk. Uh, it provides the power they need for all sorts of movement, including acrobatics, like jumps, and making those big splashes. So, let's take an even closer look at this incredible ability that dolphins have for jumping, and compare for a moment human and dolphin jumping. So for this, I'm going to need a human volunteer, someone who didn't help out with trivia, and who thinks they can jump pretty high. Who thinks they can jump pretty high. Yeah, up here. Let's check it out. Over there. In the front row, you got black and red shirt on. That's you. Come on over. Can you come around that way? Maybe? All right, perfect. All right. Hi there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll get you over here. Welcome. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Come right down this way. And where are you visiting us from today? Wonderful. Come on over. We're happy to have you. I'm going to have you stand right in front of this ruler here. Perfect. Uh, give a little wave to our audience so they can see it. Great. All right. Here's the plan. The audience and I are going to count down from three to one and then say, jump. When we do, I need you to jump as high as you can. I'm going to measure your jump on the ruler. Cool? All right. Are you ready? Awesome. All right, audience, help me out. Three, two, one. Jumping 
in action. Thank you. 